A game of the year contender for something as simple as just toy soldiers, unicorns, and G.I. Joes. What is going on YouTube, the assist man? Inside of this video, I'm bringing you guys my review of the brand new toy soldiers war chest game for the Xbox One. Now, I've played the first two, so two Toy Soldiers games when they first come out, and I recently brought you guys a video about two weeks ago talking about how the second Toy Soldiers, the, the Cold War game, was available as a backwards compatible game from the Xbox 360 now to the Xbox One, and I went back and played that. Lo and behold, just yesterday, Toy Soldiers War Chest, the third installment of the game, released. And it is a very cheap game, by the way. I picked it up brand new at Best Buy for $29.99 retail. Then if you have Gamers Club Unlocked, you take 20% more off of that. So you can get the game brand new for $24. And when I tell you that the game is amazing, the game is amazing. First of all, look at all these different figures you can play with. You play with these toy soldiers. You can play with the G.I. Joes. You can play with He-Man. You can play with the Cobra Commander. You can play with Ezio from Assassin's Creed, a unicorn chick, all kinds of stuff. Ton of fun. And then what you do, pretty much the synopsis of the game, is kind of like a real-time strategy game where you pick one of these characters. You can unlock different characters, and then you get these tokens, as you can see in the far left-hand corner. Now, what you could do with these tokens is that the more you play, the more tokens you earn. You can use the tokens to unlock and buy different things and unlock different upgrades for your, for your uh, stuff you have. Like this here, this is the Cobra Commander stuff. He has like this turret thing and you can upgrade all these damage upgrades, these range upgrades to make your turret more powerful, to make it have more range so it can see enemies faster. You could put sandbags and stone walls around it to have it to give it more hit points. This right here, for instance, is a stinger truck. You can shoot missiles at tanks, so on and so forth. Every single character in the game has a different army. Every single character in the game has different loadouts. It's really, really cool. So far, I have played every single character in the game, and I think that my personal favorite character so far is Ezio, the Assassin's Creed character. My second favorite character would probably be the Cobra Commander, and my third favorite character would probably be Kaiser, and he's like the little general guy that you first start out with when you first start the game. Now, I'm going to bring you guys a gameplay of me and my man, the Big Andy, playing on this map called Candy Slides. This is the second to the last map of the campaign. So this is pretty much the second to the last map you have to beat of the campaign before you beat the game. And me and the Big Andy have been playing this thing like tremendously. And when Big Andy told me that this game was coming out, man, he was like, you getting it? I was like, hell yeah, I'm getting it. So shout out to the Big Andy, man. He's a YouTuber as well. I've talked about him in the past. I'm going to leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description. If you guys want to go check out his YouTube channel, man, and maybe throw him a subscribe as well. But me and him, man, have been trying to beat the campaign. And we've been doing a good job on the game, man. Um, in this game right here, I'm playing as Ezio, the Assassin's Creed character, and he's playing as the Cobra Commander. Now, what you want to do is when you first get into the map, you'll see that there's different spots you could build things at. You want to start building certain things. Like, for instance, what I built right here is my triple barrel cannon. And you can upgrade that as time goes along. And that's good for... It's good for like tanks and uh, high armor things, but it's also really good for infantry because it does a lot of splash damage. Andy, on the other hand, he was the Cobra Commander. He built some turrets, as you can see that blue fire going on right now and missiles. He's over there just mopping up stuff as the Cobra Commander. Now in each one of these maps, you get different waves. And as you can see, the waves are on the right hand side. Each map has different waves. When you first start at the lower end maps, they only have a couple waves. When you move up to the higher end maps, they have as much as like 30. For instance, this map has 33 different waves. And you could see what you have to kill in those waves. You could see what's coming up on the next waves. You could see if it's infantry units. You could see if it's heavy armor units like tanks and heavy armor infantry units. You could see if it's air units. 
This game just has everything, man. Look, you got the Assassin's Creed dude just calling shots on the left-hand side over there by the cannon. I got a triple barrel cannon. You can upgrade the cannon. As you further upgrade the cannon, you can give it more range. You can give it more damage. Uh, and when you upgrade its damage, it actually holds more cannon shells so you could shoot it for a longer time without reloading it. And you could even upgrade it to a thing called lead shot, which shoots out a ton of little ass cannonballs that just wreak havoc and do so much damage on all of the enemy infantry. Now, every map has a different structure and a different, like, I guess you could say synopsis. This map here is like Candyland, more or less. There's unicorns. Look at this. We're over here shooting unicorns, shooting Care Bears, and when they explode, they got hearts coming out of them and rainbows and stuff. Really, really cool, man. This game is totally amazing. It's a lot of fun. It'll keep you into it for a long time. It has a ton of playability left to it. Now, there's two different ways you could actually play this game. You could play the way I was just playing, where you're actually inside of, you know, units, kind of like I took over the Big Andy's Cobra Commander unit right there. And look at this, man. You got the Cobra Commander chilling in the back right there, just checking out all his stuff. You got the flag up, the G.I. Joes, man. I mean, how much more awesome does it get? Now, you could play the way that I'm playing right now, or you could play another way. The way I normally play is the less aggressive way, where if you're playing with a teammate, I am the one who's going around and pretty much doing intel from above the map. I'm actually building all of our guns and our cannons and our anti-air and our anti-infantry units, and I'm upgrading everything. Look at this. They even got roly-poly, big-ass cat pink toy banks. These are piggy banks, man. They have, like, coin slots on the top of them, and they roll around. Now you got more unicorns coming in. And when there's a lot of stuff, sometimes I like to man one of the units like I'm doing right now. Big Andy, like I said, he's more of an aggressive player. He likes to man the units all the time. But mostly, I just sit back and look at things from above. I build units and let them work for me. The first Toy Soldiers game was good. The second one was even better. But this third one, man, this brand new one right here, this Toy Soldiers War Chest, man, shout out, man, to Signal Studios, man, and shout out to Ubisoft, man, because you guys did an amazing job with this game. For a game that's so fun and simple, just by putting in Toy Soldiers you can play with in a game and turning it into like a real-time strategy game, it is an amazingly amount of fun. There's even multiplayer in this game where you can get another friend and you can go play two versus two. That's a lot of fun. There's ranked play, so there's ranked matches so you can get on leaderboards. There's weekly wars you have to do to get challenges. There's just so much stuff you have to do in this game. And like I said, man, Signal Studios, man, you guys did an amazing job with this game. We even had a couple of the uh, developers from Signal Studios that me and Big Andy were actually live streaming this on Twitch just yesterday. So shout out to you guys that actually were in my Twitch live stream. I had a lot of people watching. I know I did it really late at night. But if you guys are not following me on Twitch, man, that link is in the description as well. Go ahead and follow me on Twitch so when I go live, you can see. I also put a link up to it on my Twitter. So if you follow me on Twitter and that link is in the description as well, you will know when I go go ahead and go live so you can watch me play games live on Twitch. But when we were live streaming this on Twitch, we actually had two of the developers from Signal Studios in the game watching the game. And man, I appreciate you guys, man. I appreciate you guys talking. I appreciate you guys' feedback. Talking about feedback now, I said the game is amazing. So let's go into the goods and the bads and the uglies about the game. Because every game, no matter what, cannot be perfect. Nothing in life could be perfect. Some things could be close to perfect, but not everything could be perfect. So the good stuff about this game. The graphics are pretty amazing, man, for as basic as the structure of the game really is. Um, the loading times are really, really fast. The playability is there. I mean, you can play this game over and over again. There's a ton of unlocks. There's a ton of different things. I mean, the game is amazing, man. It is completely amazing. The bad. Uh, sometimes in the multiplayer maps, man, um, it takes a long time to find a multiplayer game and sometimes it actually loads you up two versus one So that's kind of like unfair because I've been loaded up by myself against two other people And I've had one person loaded up against me and another guy and you cannot win that way So I don't know why they would load a game two versus one it makes no sense, but that needs to be addressed the ugly the, the absolute bad thing about the game is I don't know for some of you guys that have played this game if um, you've had this exact same thing happen, but when there's a lot of enemies on the map, the game gets extremely laggy. And not like more or less like frame rate drop. Yeah, there is a little frame rate drop there when it does get laggy, but it's not much. What I'm talking about is an extreme amount of audio lag 
when you're playing the game and there's a lot of enemies on the map, the game goes stupid, like weird and crazy weird and starts slowing down. And then the audio gets so laggy that it makes your headset and your speakers on your television or if you're listening to it on your surround sound, sound like they're blown out and distorted because the audio is moving so slow. It's like, it, it, it just, it sounds like crazy. So. Good stuff about the game, I talked about it. Bad stuff about the game, I talked about it. Completely ugly stuff about the game, I talked about it. This is another thing that I'm manning up right now. This is the Cobra Commander's version of this thing called like the Big Bertha. It's like a big aerial assault, like artillery, AOE effect type thing. These things are just amazing, man. The guns, the weapons in this game are just amazing. Now, as the more you kill people in the game, which you really have to be manning a turret or manning an anti-infantry or manning an anti-armor thing to do, you can see that bar on the left-hand side. Once you fill up that bar to a certain uh, level, you can see the three different unlocks. Once you fill up that bar to that level, you actually get like a special ability. When you get that special ability, you're actually able to call in certain special attacks. Like for me, since I'm using the Assassin's Creed character, the first one I'd get to do is I get to call in Ezio and actually use the Assassin's Creed character to go around, stab stuff up, do a whole bunch of stuff. If you're using the Cobra Commander, you can play as the Commander. If you're using the G.I. Joe, you can play as Duke from the G.I. Joes. This game is amazing, man. If you guys don't have this game, I would highly recommend to go out and buy it. You'll have a ton of fun playing in the game it is a strong recommended buy from me i would give it a solid nine out of ten and it's in the top three best games that i played so far in 2015 it might be number one because the game is amazing man it really is so anyway that's my review of the brand new toy soldiers war chest hall of fame edition game that just released yesterday for the xbox one by ubisoft and signal studios like I said, I give it a solid 9 out of 10. The game is amazing, man. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up like. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends about me, man, so they can view my videos. They can subscribe to my channel, and then you can help a brother out. So anyway, YouTube, this was The Assist Man. Look forward to more gameplays of this game on my channel. And like always, I am out.